hello friends welcome to the melancholy believer where we talk about the amazing melancholic temperament from a christian perspective and we're not a male don't go away you surely learn something new be blessed by god's grace so this video starts with the melancholic and procrastination first what is procrastination this is just the act of postponing delaying or putting off especially habitually or intentionally wow does this ring a bell to you so what causes this procrastination here are the quotes there are the causes i was able to find out by god's grace on procrastination fear yes fear fear comes in different forms fear can be caused by you know fear of starting something fear of failure fear of punishment fear of consequence fear of not doing it well it is okay and fear will surely lead to anxiety and stress and this is not good for you both physically and spiritually so let's check out the scriptures in philippians 4 verse 6 now philippians 4 verse 6 have no anxiety about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god number two deadlines there's a video called the mind of a master procrastination master procrastinator sorry on youtube by ted by ted x talks so i've to check the video out also to learn about the issue of procrastination as well because it really helped me and i hope it helps you as well by god's grace okay so deadlines could affect procrastination either positively or negatively if it's too close you're not likely to procrastinate but if it's too far you'll feel relaxed i would say what like i'll do it later or i still have time and this excuses but remember that it's always good for you to always finish your work on time. Number three now, lack of motivation to start and support. To be sincere, sometimes we do feel like doing something and might be important. So what do we do? Look at the situation sincerely, firstly. Think deeply and see if it's truly possible at that time. Even though there's just a 1% chance, then it's possible. Remember, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And... There is nothing, I mean nothing, impossible for God to do. Number four, workload. When you have this work to do, you don't feel scared, you don't feel pressured. You'll be like, I can do it right away, I'm, I'm good at this, you can do it on time. But what about when you have several things, to, like several work, like imagine a mountain of dishes to wash, you have tons of clothes to wash, you have books to read and you have exams coming up, like not an exam, but several exams. You feel scared to start and you might, you might want to, you might, you might not be encouraged to start. You not you won't have the motivation, you won't have the courage, you just be like, oh, I don't feel like doing this now. You just feel like doing it later and later and later and later. Things can keep on procrastinating and she's not okay. So what should we do in this situation now? Firstly, then to prioritize. Then to take things step by step, okay? Do the work little by little as well, okay? Firstly, I said what? Then to prioritize, take something step by step. Choose the best, like this one is more important. I do this first, then I do this later. Okay. And also do the work little by little. Don't just eat the mountain as one strike. Take it little by little. Okay. You can't do everything at once. Okay. There's time for everything and you need learn to learn to, to, to make your things orderly and also learn to appreciate each progress you make. Okay. Let's say you have um let's say you have like 15 books to read now. Read one, say wow, well done. Don't just be like, oh, I've done nothing. Because when you tell yourself, well done, you have to give yourself kind of hope and joy to even continue, okay? And no matter how little it is, be a source of encouragement to yourself and don't feel bad to go beyond your limits, okay? That's one thing you know. Yes, so, I want to check the verse before I go now, which is Romans 8, verse 37. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Hallelujah. Means we can conquer anything, overcome anything, be it, be it work. Be stress and everything is possible through Jesus Christ and just learn to have faith in him and trust in him and help you, and trust your spirit to help you to work out your, your best, okay? Let, let me just know your thoughts on this video as well. Let me know if you like this style or you like the other style as well. So if you like this video, just if you like this video, just give it leave a like, leave a comment and if these tips help you a lot, I'd like to hear your thoughts as well. So thank you and God bless you.